Hi, and welcome to the Archie Ventures Project. I'm Justine Benanti. And I'm Katie Paul. And this is what we're digging into this week. So you might have heard us talk about how ISIS is going across the Middle East destroying cultural sites. Well, one of the most recent sites they've actually destroyed is the Armenian Genocide Memorial Church. And to understand why this site was destroyed beyond the fact that it's a Christian site, you still have, you have to understand the history of the Armenian Genocide. It's a very little known genocide and it's connected to the Greek genocide, which began during World War I in 1914. And you know, you're Greek, clearly look at your outfit, I mean, represent, right? How does this affect your family and your history? Well, the Greek genocide actually began um, in 1914 as Asia Minor was breaking up. So Asia Minor was Greece, Turkey, and Armenia, and, and that Mediterranean region uh, prior to the dividing of the Ottoman Empire. So it's the 100 year anniversary. Right? It is the 100 year anniversary, which makes it kind of ironic that there's another crusade against Christians occurring right now in the Middle East. Um, Kemal Ataturk, who was leading the crusade against Christians in 1914, he's the one that Turkey is named after. Um, yes, there, right at the airport. Yes, uh, at about um, a little over a million Greeks were killed during that genocide. And um, family members of mine included, actually the whole reason my family is in America, is because of this genocide. They fled Turkey uh, to Greece, and those that did not stay in the refugee camps in Greece came to America. And my great-grandmother was actually the last surviving child of her family. And her father had no idea that she was alive, actually came to America when he fled the Turkish troops because they were slaughtering men, forcing men to, into hard labor, um, kidnapping women, and a, a lot so of... So repeat today. It's a lot of the yeah. same tactics you see today. And he actually made it to America and remarried, assuming his family had been killed and 12 years later found out that they survived. And so when the war was over, he brought my great-grandmother and her mom. And that's why I'm here today. And I still have relatives in the resettlement village in Greece. But this is one of the first genocides on record, right? Or considered a genocide. In the 20th right? century, um, yes. It was actually referred to as the Greek Holocaust in an early National uh, Geographic. And um, the U.S. government actually does not recognize it as a genocide, and it, it was recently put before point. Congress about a year ago, and they decided it wasn't worth stirring up the now good relationship that we have with Turkey right. uh, to recognize this genocide. So it's really a forgotten war, and it's something that uh, it's, it seems to be rearing its head a lot more now uh, with, re with regard to ISIS and the slaughter of Christians. So we can only hope that the world has learned its lesson and will do everything it can to stop these continued atro atrocities and the ethnic cleansing of, of Christian minorities in the region. Well, as they say, history repeats itself for those who don't, you know, read about it and learn it's, about it. So and It's not always a good thing, right. but that's all we're going to get into today. Uh, thank you for sharing this personal story with me, and uh, that's all we have, so thank you for visiting. I'm Justine Benanti. And I'm Katie Paul, and thanks, thanks for getting dirty with us. us.